antibiotic resistance. This is a topic that you encounter in evolution and also in the chapter on monera or bacteria. And this is rapid revision. We're just going over the very basic details. So what is antibiotic resistance and how does it happen? So how does it take place? The best place to start is by understanding what an antibiotic is. So define antibiotics. They are chemicals that kill or inhibit the growth of bacteria. Where do they come from or how are they produced? Well, some antibiotics are synthetic and there are also natural antibiotics. By natural, we mean they are made by microorganisms. So they're made by, for example, bacteria and fungi. If they're synthetic, they're made artificially by combining chemicals. So what is meant then by antibiotic resistance? Antibiotic resistance is when the chemicals that were once effective at killing or inhibiting the growth of bacteria no longer do so. They once worked, but they no longer work. That's really important. We have to remember that antibiotics are not new. Bacteria have always made them. They've produced them for protection and for communication or signalling purposes. So antibiotic resistance is not new. So why did these bacteria develop this resistance? Imagine you have a bacteria, a type of bacteria that happily produces antibiotics and it's going to use these chemicals to target another type of bacterium, possibly to kill it. So if you are the producer of the antibiotic, you have to be resistant or else you risk being destroyed by your own chemical. And if you are the target of that chemical, that antibiotic, well, you've possibly been exposed to it for so long that you've evolved ways to survive. This leads us to the question, how does antibiotic resistance evolve? Well, there are two processes to explain how resistance can evolve. Genetic mutations and gene transfer. So let's deal with genetic mutations first. So bacteria can reproduce very rapidly by binary fission. So they'll reproduce approximately every 20 minutes. And the speed at which they reproduce often means that there can be mistakes made in replicating or copying the DNA. And this can lead to traits, traits such as antibiotic resistance. Nature selects for the advantageous trait. So the trait that gives benefit helps the organism to survive. If these bacteria that have acquired antibiotic resistance then are exposed to antibiotics, well, then they have the advantageous trait. They are going to survive and reproduce. When exposed to antibiotics, they are best adapted. And so you get a population of antibiotic resistant bacteria dominating. So when this resistance develops in pathogenic or disease causing bacteria, well, then there's a risk to health. So we're outlining one way in which this evolution of antibiotic resistance can take place. This is, in fact, natural selection, that theory put forward by Darwin and Wallace. The second process is gene transfer. So there are lots of different genes associated with antibiotic resistance. And the thing about bacteria is that they can transfer genetic material to other bacteria, either of the same species or to bacteria that are completely different species. This means transferring whole plasmids or individual sections of DNA. So in this way, the gene for antibiotic resistance can get transferred from one bacterium into another and often into different species of bacteria. Today, we have very high levels of antibiotic resistance, and it's widely accepted that this is down to the misuse of antibiotics, so using them in the wrong way. An example of this is incorrectly prescribing antibiotics for viral infections. Antibiotics have no impact on viral infections. They don't work against viruses. So if you give an antibiotic in this way, you're just exposing any bacteria with resistance to this chemical unnecessarily and they'll survive and dominate. Another example is the excessive use of antibiotics in agriculture. Antibiotics are often given to farm animals and this increases the risk of resistant genes being passed into human pathogenic bacteria through gene transfer. So that was rapid revision. Best of luck.